All right, KMR, welcome back to the channel. We got that brap. We're going to talk some brap. And we're going to talk about how to avoid costly mistakes, how to avoid water seal failure on rebuilt motors. Um, and this is something I've seen kind of uh, <clears throat> throughout the industry, throughout the years. There's a lot of uh, apprehension and often avoidance of lapping. In a lot of cases, people will try to run stuff that's pretty crusty um, only to get subpar results, meaning premature failure, not long lifespan, not the results you're looking for. Now, I've covered it in the past. Um, obviously, the nitriding is there. It's there for reasons. When we lap housings, we're not trying to cut off so much material that we're re re we are removing all of that nitriding. Um, so there are specifications that you need to work within when you're resurfacing rotary engines, side housings, or even piston motors for that matter. But after doing this for 25 years, I don't see a big need to re-nitride. Um, and what I do see is that avoidance um, to resurfacing can lead to problems. And this is the example I'm pointing out. This housing is already well into lapping. I've cut off about two thousandths, um, and we're gonna get close to three thousandths of material removal. And if you look at your OEM specifications, what the OEM Mazda workshop manuals say, you can't have any deformation around your water seal area, whether it be the rotor housings, that's primarily what they talk about, or your side plates. <clears throat> As you get into warpage or variation, you lose your metal-to-metal -metal contact seal, which is your primary seal. If you don't have good metal-to-metal, -metal, those water seals can't really do their job. So in the case where we've got housings like this, this is a 1989 to 91 Mazda RX-7 six port, so USA spec naturally aspirated RX-7 housing, they're discontinued. You can't buy a new one. You're only dealing with used stuff. And this was one of those motors where the customer put it together, drove it a few thousand miles, boom, water seal failure, pumping water. So they sent the housings in and we instantly spec'd them out. They had some warpage, they had some serious wear. And this is where it's really visible. You get down into these water seal areas and you can see this darkness right here. This housing's actually shrank. It got so hot that this water seal jacket area actually bowed away and sank down into the housing. Now, there's no way to pull that back up, but we can remove multiple thousands to bring the plate back to flat. Not only does that give the rotor all of your seals, the ability to break into a flat surface. So if you're using new parts, that's really important. You're getting proper break in. You're not wearing those new parts into a previous pattern. Um, but you're also ensuring that your water seal connection, your metal to metal seal that is oh so important, that's going to give you that reliability you need, um, is in good shape. And you can see pretty much it's a little dirty, but the rest of this housing is shaping up really well. We still have a little bit of wear left. We're going to continue to remove that. And I imagine about when this wear is gone, we're also going to flatten out this warpage, which is most likely the reason this motor failed and then failed again. So do not just trust used housings. Make sure you're specking them out. You're checking them for flat. There's a lot of ways to do that. Um, if you need help, you can always uh, reach out to KMR for consultation. And obviously, in most cases, we are going to recommend lapping. If you're exceptionally concerned about that nitriding, we offer WPC treatment as a surface hardening versus nitriding. We're using a more modern technique to help reduce friction and harden the surface. So let us know if we can help you out. We're bringing rotary motors back to life. We're trying to keep everybody up to date and up to spec on what matters. And in my opinion, way more important to have a flat housing that's gonna seal than to worry about a little bit of nitriding that is not a problem. Um, this housing, even with no nitriding, if we completely cleaned it all off, would still go 50 to 100,000 miles. That water seal was never gonna go that far. So 
lapped flat, still within specs, this housing can easily achieve 80 to 150,000 miles, even with this lapping. Obviously, more horsepower, more performance wears things faster, but if this was an OEM car, this would be back to OEM spec for all intent and purpose once we finish up a little more work. All right, so thanks for watching. I get a lot of questions about lapping. We do a lot of lapping. We have almost zero fail rate. Um, so any questions, let us know. Industry standard. It's been going on for years. Thanks for watching. KMR.